Palestine. I bring you solidarity from the people of Leicester. You are here. You are here on the right side of history demanding an immediate ceasefire. Israel is now officially on trial for genocide. It was right to bring action against Israel. Israel is using starvation as a weapon of war. Already more than a million, half a million people, Palestinians, are eating grass to stave off hunger. And clean water is almost impossible to find. Despite the court ruling, Israel continues the killing of Palestinians in Gaza. Israel is already in breach of the order. Meaning, what does international law mean if we can do what we want when we want? Britain and the US are complicit, allowing Israel to act with impunity. With arrogance and despite the International Court of a Justice ruling, Britain's official line remains that the case of genocide against Israel should not have been brought in the first place. Boo! Britain's imperialism in Gaza and Yemen is one of bombs, bullets and betrayal. Unbelievably, the UK government stopped funding UNRWA, the UN Palestinian Aid Organization. Boo! The Belgian government said no. It will not collude with Israel. It will not only continue funding uh, uh, UNRWA, it will treble it. In response, in response, Israel flattened Belgium's official office in Gaza. War crimes upon war crimes. The evidence is clear. Civilians in Gaza are tied up, blindfolded and executed. And not even carrying a white flag will bring you safety. Nowhere in Gaza is safe. The people of, Ga of Gaza are facing unimaginable horrors, waterborne diseases and famine. Yet our government refuses to call for an immediate ceasefire. His Majesty's official opposition, the Labour Party, refuses to call for an immediate ceasefire. British-made weapons are raining down and bombing the people and infrastructure of Gaza. Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer are culpable and complicit. Our message is clear. Stop arming Israel.